Now let's look at control flow statements. A control flow statement is a type of statement. And as the name implies, it regulates or controls the order in which statements get executed. In order to do that, they make use of Boolean conditions. There are several types of control flow statements like if statement, for statement, while statement and so on. Let's begin by looking at if statements. We briefly looked at if statement while covering comparison and logical operators. We know that an if statement lets you execute a block of code only if some test passes. And here is an example. The body of if statement is executed only if the condition in parenthesis, which is x less than 7, is true. The parenthesis around the condition is mandatory. And the body of the if statement includes the statements in between the curly braces. And the curly braces are required only if the body of if statement or in fact body of any control flow statement, whether it is for loop or while loop, involves more than one statement. So if the body includes exactly one statement, then braces are not required. But in general, it is considered a good practice to always use curly braces. That is, use them even if you have only a single statement. Now once the body is executed, then the control continues with the next statement following the if statement. This happens even if the if condition fails. But if the if condition fails, and in that case you want to execute an alternative block of code before executing the statements that follow the if statement, then you can use an else block. So here is our earlier example extended with an else block. Now if the condition x less than 7 is false, then the code in the else block will be executed. Once else block completes its execution, the control continues with the next statement following the if statement. But if the condition x less than 7 is true, then the else block will not be executed. That is the main body of if is executed and then the statements following if statement will be executed. So else block is executed only if condition in parenthesis fails. So the statements after the if statement are always executed. It is just that whether if block is executed or else block is executed depends on the condition being tested. Next, if we have a sequence of conditions to be tested and each condition is associated with some body of code, then we can use else if blocks. Here is an example where we have a sequence of conditions. Here the conditions are checked sequentially one after another until one of them is true. And when a condition that is true is uncounted, the corresponding block of code is executed. Once that block of code is executed, the rest of the if statement is skipped. So for example, let's say if x is 13, then the first two conditions here would fail and the third condition would be true. So after the corresponding body is executed, then the fourth condition will not be tested. Now if none of the conditions hold true, then by default, the code in the else block will be executed. Note that the else block is optional. That is, you can have only if and one or more else if blocks and that would still be valid. But if you do have an else block, then it must be the last block. That is, it cannot be followed by an else if block. Finally, note that if statements can be nested. That is, body of an if statement can have one or more if statements and those if statements can also have other if statements nested within them and those nested if statements can have more nested if statements and so on. So there is no restriction on how nested it can be. Okay. And that's about it. And that's all there is to if statements. Thank you.